Hi guys, it's Jimmy McIntyre here. Thank you for downloading the Easy Panel for CC 2015. This is now the main way to install the Easy Panel in Photoshop CC 2015. If for whatever reason this doesn't work for you, you'll see a link in the description of this video with two other methods, one using the extension manager and secondly installing it manually. With these three methods, you should have no problem in getting access to this great free Easy Panel. Now, let me show you how to install it using the primary installer. Firstly, we go to the zip file that we downloaded from my website and we right click on the file and we just extract the file. We're not opening it, we're extracting it. Now we have Easy Panel 2015. If we double click on that, you can see the PDF that you've probably already seen and the main Easy Panel folder. If we click on the Easy Panel folder, we'll see Auto Install EP, Easy Panel 2015 Primary Installer, and Manual Install Easy Panel. The Primary Installer is the only one we're going to use in this tutorial, and the other two are for the other two installation methods found in the alternative video. Now, all we need to do again is to extract this file, and if we open it, we'll see we have Assets and Install.jsx bin. Now we have to open up Photoshop, but before we do, we need to right click on the Photoshop icon like this and choose Run as Administrator. Now depending on the version of Windows that you're using, there's going to be a different way to do this. So if you go on Google and you type Run as Administrator in Google and your version of Windows, you'll find plenty of websites that will show you how to do that. So Run as Administrator. Now Photoshop's going to load up and it's going to give me administrator privileges so I can save files in folders that I couldn't otherwise save them in. With Photoshop open, we now go to File, Scripts, Browse, and we go to the file that contains our Easy Panel file that we just unzipped. And you'll know that you'll be in that file because you'll see the folder Assets. Now we can't see the other file that we saw before, which was called Install, because we need to first go down to this drop down box and choose the bottom option, Adobe JavaScript binary file. And we click on that and there is our installation file. We double click and we just press OK and OK again and OK for the final time. Now we need to restart Photoshop. So I've closed that. I don't need administrator privileges for this. I'll open up Photoshop just as before and when it's ready we can go to Window, Extension and there's the Easy Panel. If for any reason this installation method didn't work for you, please find the alternative methods, the link to which can be found in the description of this video. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the Easy Panel.